Family values is a meditation on my upbringing, you know, where I started in suburban California and where I am now, um, New York City, on the other side. And it's tongue in cheek with the musical festival from the uh, mid 90s to early 2000s called the Family Values Tour that had rock, heavy metal and rap acts. And the kind of irony of the title was these acts would be the antithesis of family values. Behind me, you have a sculpture of a Honda Civic with a basketball hoop crashing through the windshield. And the title is, I always wanted to be an all-star. Sport works its way into a lot of my work. And the idea of a basketball hoop crashing through a windshield is on a certain level, a suburban tragedy. The basketball work in the gallery, it's seven basketballs by seven basketballs, is called Suburban Sprawl. That work I know means many things to many different people. Some people look at a broken dream, some people look at someone who had used something to the point where it has no more function and then it was replaced with something new. Sport is a medium that I'm exploring through my work, sometimes directly and sometimes indirectly. The works that have tarps with uh, steel panels and they're painted in auto body paint, the colors that I choose for them are based on key colors of different sports teams. The punishment paintings call into question why we protect personal property as opposed to each other. As they have signatures scribbled and erased on them. They're rooted in art history. I love the work of Cy Twombly, and Twombly was obsessed with Greek mythological figures. He just, these are contemporary mythological figures. In the gallery, you have uh, Michael Jordan's signature, Mickey Mantle's signature, and my own signature. The Yankee symbols that are on the cement pillars in the gallery, uh, I call them noodles, New York doodles. Um, they're reminiscent of the New York Yankees logo, which transcends time, place. It's become really a status symbol for the American dream. But what is the American dream? As a kid, Growing up in Orange County, California, I had always longed to move to New York City. And when I first started making work seriously, of all the notion of where I'm from, I was, I detested it on a certain level. And now I'm having the work come back full circle and seeing how where I'm from influences what I do today.